Hi, Michael McKinnon, Security Advisor at AVG. Is your WordPress website leaving you liable? You see, compromised WordPress websites are literally infecting the world at the moment. I'm talking about potentially redirecting your website visitors, and I'm talking about potentially infecting your users with malicious files. WordPress websites have become easy targets in recent times. And it's not surprising, WordPress is one of the most popular website platforms available. And it's a type of content management system, which as an application allows you to publish content on the web very easily. But also as an application or a piece of software, it is vulnerable to attack. And that's exactly what's been happening. So here are some tips for the webmaster. And it's kind of a trick statement because I want you to think about who your webmaster is in your business. Is it the business owner? Is it an employee? Is it a contractor? Is it the web hosting provider? You need to make sure that someone is taking responsibility for your business's website. That's the key tip here. Make sure you're being responsible with your website because if you are, then there's a far less chance that you'll become vulnerable to this kind of attack. So here are some practical tips. Make sure that WordPress is updated on a regular basis. I would recommend logging into the admin part of your WordPress site at least on a weekly basis to make sure there aren't any updates that need to be installed. If there are, go ahead and install them. The next thing is to make sure that if you have any plugins or themes in your WordPress site that aren't being used, disable them or even better, completely remove them from the site. And then lastly, make sure that you have a current backup of the site and that there's also a schedule where those backups are occurring on a regular basis. Know where those backup files are and know how to restore the site quickly if you need to do that. Lastly, I'll leave you with the last two points, which are again, reinforcing the fact that you should be deleting plugins and themes that aren't being used and also making sure that you update your WordPress site at least on a weekly basis. For more information, please visit our website resources.avg.com.au.